Several Medina families are dealing with shock and sadness tonight after a fire raced through their apartment complex in the middle of the night. But they're also grateful to be alive and sharing their stories of survival. News Channel 5 reporter Bob Jones is live at the scene in Medina tonight. Bob, the damage is extensive, but obviously this could all have been so much worse. Well, that is certainly right, Lee. The apartment complex is called Autumn Run at Cross Point, and behind me, you can see the charred remains of the building. The fire chief is telling me tonight that the fire actually started on a back porch of that second floor apartment that you see, and it spread very quickly. Eight families were very lucky to get out alive. Cell phone video captured a massive fireball, flames leaping from and tearing through the Medina apartment complex shortly after 4 o'clock in the morning. Lynette Doherty was startled out of sleep by people yelling, sounds that may have saved her life. All of a sudden, this smoke just started coming in my apartment, and I, that's when I knew I had to split. We could have died. <laughs> I mean, the floor fell through. It's like Keith Krakowski, fire. his wife, and two daughters live below the apartment where the fire started. They too barely escaped. The family was planning to move to a new home in three weeks. The back porch was engulfed and it was falling onto the ground already. Like, and we got out the door and it was just boom, it went up. The fire damaged or destroyed 12 apartments, eight of them occupied. Family members returned to the burned up building to search for and salvage any of their belongings, but much of it was destroyed. Lynette is worried about her cat, which ran from the apartment, but is missing. She's calico, she's real big, she's declawed. Meantime, the Red Cross is doing what it can, providing food, clothing, and shelter. So you can tell they are in, pretty much in shock, and we're, uh, we're doing our best to put our arm around them and comfort them and keep them warm. The state fire marshal is searching for a cause, while eight families search for a new place to live. I don't even know if it actually sunk in completely yet, you know, we're just all kind of in shock. And tonight, some of the victims are questioning the response time of the fire department. The fire department says it took 14 minutes to get to the apartment fire, but Medina is a volunteer fire department. So the guys and gals that actually respond to their fires come from their homes, get into the fire trucks, and then head out to the fire. So given all that, the fire chief, Bob Painter, says the response time of 14 minutes was good. On your side, live in Medina, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Thank you, Bob.